Hello folks, Emerald Tablets, Tablet 5, the Dweller of Unal. Oft dream I of buried Atlantis, long in the ages that I have passed into night. Aeon on Aeon, thou exist in beauty, a light shining bright through the darkness of night. Mighty in power, ruling the earthborn, Lord of the earth and Atlantis's day, King of the nations, Master of Wisdom, Light through sun tall, Keeper of the way. Dwelt in his temple, The Master of Unal, Light of the earth, In Atlantis' day. Master he from a cycle beyond us, Living in bodies as one among men. Not as the earthborn, He from beyond us, Son of a cycle, Advanced beyond men. Know ye, O man, That Horlet, the master, Was never one, with the children of men. Far in the past time, when Atlantis first grew as a power, appeared there one with the key of wisdom, showing the way of light to the all. Showed he to all men the path of attainment, way of the light that flows among men. Master darkness, leading the man's soul, upward to the heights that were one with the light. Divided in the kingdoms, he into sections. Ten were they, ruled by the children of men. Upon another built he a temple, built but not by the children of men. Out of the ether called he its substance, molded and formed by the power of Yatolin, into the forms he built with his mind. Mile upon mile it covered the island, Space upon space it grew in its might. Black yet not black, but dark like the space-time, Deep in its heart the essence of light. Swiftly the temple grew, into mo being molded, And shaped by the word of the dweller, Called from the formless into form. Builded he then, within it great chambers, Filled them with forms called forth from the ether, Filled them with wisdom called forth from his mind. Formless was he within his temple, yet he formed in the image of men. Wow. <laughs> I just had an... Dwelling among them, yet not of them. Strange and far different was he from the children of men. Chose he then from among the people, three who became his gateway. Chose he the three from the highest to become his links with Atlantis messengers, they who carried his counsel to kings of the children of men. Oh my god, I just realized it. That is insane. He's talking about the brain. And talking about the, the threefold nature of how everything is, the hero's journey. It's amazing. Sorry I stopped. Oh, brought he forth... Brought he forth others and taught him them wisdom, teachers they to the children of men. Place he then on the island of Undal to stand as teachers of light to men. Each of those who were thus chosen, taught must he be for five years or ten. Only thus would he have understanding to bring light to the children of men. Thus there came into being the temple. A dwelling place for the master of men. I thought, have ever sought wisdom, searching in darkness and searching in light. Long in my youth I traveled the pathway, seeking ever new knowledge to gain, until after much striving, one of the three to me brought the light. Wow! <laughs> brought he to me the commands of the dweller, called me from darkness into the light. Brought he me before the dweller, deep in the temple, before the great fire. This is a whole story of you coming to the light, guys, just like the Noah's Flood. It's amazing. I'm seeing it in everything now. There on the great throne, beheld I the dweller, clothed with the light and flashing with fire. Down I knelt before that great wisdom, feeling the light flowing through me in waves. Heard I then the voice of the dweller, O darkness, come into the light. 
Long have ye sought the pathway to light. Each soul on earth that loosens its fetters shall soon be made free from the bondage of night. Oh my God. Forth from the darkness have ye arisen. Closer approach the light of your goal. Here ye shall dwell as one with my children, keeper of records gathered by wisdom, instrument thou of the light beyond, from beyond. Ready be thou made to do what is needed, preserver of wisdom through the ages of darkness that shall come fast on the children of men. Live thee here and drink of all wisdom. Secrets and mysteries unto thee shall unveil. Then answered I, the master of the cycle, saying, O light that has de descended to men, give thou to my, me of thy wisdom, that I might be a teacher of men. Give thou of thy light, that I may be free. Spoke then to me again, the master, age after age shall ye live through your wisdom. I, when over Atlantis the ocean waves roll, holding the light, Thou hidden in darkness, ready to come whenever thou shalt call. Go thee now and learn greater wisdom. Grow thou through light to infinities all. Long then dwelt I in the temple of the dweller, until at last I was one with the light. Followed I then the path to the star plains. Followed I then the pathway to light. Deep into earth's heart I followed the pathway, Learning the secrets below as above. Learning the pathway to the halls of Amenti. Learning the law that balances the world. The earth's hidden chambers pierced I by my wisdom. Deep through the earth's crust into the pathway. Hidden for ages from the children of men. Unveiled before me ever more wisdom. Until I reached a new knowledge. Found that all is part of an all. Great and yet greater than all that we know. Searched I infinity's heart through the ages. Deep and yet deeper more mysteries I found. Now as I look back through the ages. Know I that wisdom is boundless. Ever grown greater throughout the ages. One with infinities greater than all. Light there was in ancient Atlantis. Yet darkness too was hidden in all fell from the light into the darkness, some who had risen to heights among men. Proud they became because of their knowledge. Proud were they of their place among men. Deep del die are they into the forbidden open, opened the gateway that led to below. Sought they to gain ever more knowledge, but seeking to bring it up from below. He who descends below must be have balance, else he is bound by lack of our light. Open they then by their knowledge pathways for, forbidden to man. But in his dweller, all seeing the dweller, lay in the his aguante, while through Atlantis his soul roamed free. Saw he the Atlanteans by their magic, opening the gateway that would bring to earth a great woe. Fast fled his soul. Then back to his body, up he arose from his aguante. Called he the three mighty messengers, gave the commands that shattered the world. Deep neath earth's crust to the halls of Amenti. Swiftly descended the dweller, called he then. On the powers the seven lords wielded, changed the earth's balance. Down sank Atlantis, beneath the dark waves. Shattered the gateway that had been opened. Shattered the doorway that led down below. All of the islands were shattered except Unal. And part of the island of the sons of the dweller. Preserved he them to be the teachers. Lights on the path for those to come after. Lights for the lesser children of men. Called he them, I thought before him. Gave me commands for all I should do. Saying, Take thou, O Thoth, all of your wisdom. Take all your records, take all your magic, go thou forth as a teacher of men. Go thou forth, preserving the records, until in time light grows among men. Light shall thou be all through the ages, hidden yet found by enlightened men. Over 
all earth give we ye power, free thou to give or to take it away. Gather thou now the sons of Atlantis, take them and flee to the people of the rock caves, fly to the land of the children of Chem. Then gathered I the sons of Atlantis into the spaceship, I brought all my records, brought the records of sunken Atlantis, gathered I all of my powers, instruments many of mighty magic. Up then we rose on the wings of the morning. High we arose above the temple, leaving behind the three and the dweller, deep in the earth halls neath the temple, down neath the waves sank the great temple, closing the pathway to the lords of the cycles, yet ever to him who has knowing, open shall be the path to Amenti. <laughs> Fast fled we then on the wings of the morning, fled to the land of the children of Chem. There by my power I conquered and ruled them, raised, to, raised I to light the children of Chem. Deep neath the rocks I buried my spaceship, waiting the time when man might be free. Over the spaceship erected a marker in the form of a line, yet like unto men, there neath the image rests, yet my spaceship forth to be brought when needed shall arise. Know ye, O man, that far in the future invaders shall come from out of the deep. Then awake, ye who have wisdom, bring forth my ship and conquer with ease. Deep neath the image lies my secret. Search and find in the pyramid I built. Each to the other is a keystone. Each the gateway that leads into life. Follow the key I leave behind me. Seek and the doorway to life shall be thine. Seek thou in my pyramid deep in the passage that ends in a wall. Use thou the key of the seven and open to thee the pathway will fall. <laughs> wow. Now unto thee I have given my wisdom. Now unto thee I have given my way. Follow the pathway. Solve thou my secrets. Until unto thee I have shown the way. Wow, and it stops right on Aeon. Look at that. <laughs> okay, guys. This is insane. Totally freaking insane. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's just totally insane. Just totally insane. Totally, totally, totally insane. Everything has a hero journey, three days, or three uh, three spots, or three fold, and then you make the ground, you make the, the truth, you find the truth, the fourth, and then you got your fifth, which is the diamond time. It's time for some diamonds. Right now, I am at the truth part, and it's just crazy. It's the most amazing thing I've ever encountered. But yeah, sorry, I left this one go longer. I should have just stopped the video. Sorry.